So, Tell me about yourself. Okay, so hi, I'm, I'm Nathan. Um, so we're at the Corp, and this is the where I'm, where I'm living right now. Um, yeah, this has uh, you know, been a safe place for me. Um, it's, it's really given me a place where I can, I can you know, have my space. And uh, it's also given me, yeah, it's just given me the, the peace of mind of knowing I've got a place to come to in the evenings. But it's, it's been a place from which I, I've been able to work. Um, and the great thing is, is that I've, I've also been able to, um, to explore my writing. Um, and so I'd like to, to actually just read one of these poems that I've written. It's called Nostalgia. Um, and it's really kind of a reflection on, on my childhood days, you know, that innocence of the, the community in which we lived. Nostalgia. Do you remember the days when every old man was Opa, and every old woman Oma, and every man was an uncle, and every woman Auntie, a time when every child was our child? I remember the days we'd race when we heard the approach of a sting band, those elderly gentlemen in bright colour blazers and straw panama hats. Giggling shyly, we'd walk right alongside the uncle as he feverishly strummed his banjo to the harmonious melody of guitar and saxophone. Those were the days we proudly marched in our church brigade troops, often disagreed on whose drum majors we thought were the loveliest. I remember hurriedly dressing in new bought Christmas clothing, anxious to show it off, even though for some it would be for the first time in that year. Back then, children were just children, and aunts were strict aunts. And families often visit, sitting around drinking tea and enjoying a laugh. I remember, I remember when a child could safely walk home from school and community bazaar and a fete was an event everyone looked forward to. I remember, yes I do remember those days, the innocent days.